Hello Horde and welcome to Vaults with John. Today um, I'm going to try and make some sort of efficient power to run my centrifuge and stuff. Um, I had to, when I was making my centrifuge in the previous episode, I had to obviously use an elite battery which means, uh, which if you're on a single player, wait, if you're on a multiplayer server you won't be able to get unless um, uh, someone who's opt gives you it um, so you need to find a better way of power single play obviously you can do that if you're in creative mode um, if you're struggling for power you can just get an elite battery um, but it's obviously it's a bit cheating and I don't like cheating so it's time to do it legitly uh, now solar panels okay to make a solar panel you need um, to make I think it's an energy cell um let, let me think let me have a look actually let's try energy n er it'd be one of these wait for it is that okay yeah it is energy tablet i mean um so you need to first make uh an energy tablet to make an energy tablet you need enriched alloy which is um Enriched iron, which you need, I think it's iron and redstone. I can't remember, uh, but uh, let me. See. Yeah, it is. Yeah, it is that. Let me. F um, so yeah, that is how you make enriched alloy and stuff. So yeah, I'll show you how to make the energy tablet, which is one of the important machine and parts that you need to make a normal solar panel. Uh, oh, well, I don't have a crafting table, so five seconds. And I just walked downstairs, which is just basically here in the crafting table. Um, so yeah, this is how you make. Oh wow, um, the energy cell: redstone in all the corners, gold in the middle column, and then enriched alloy at either side. I'm back. Uh, sorry about that. Uh, I just wanted to get, bring a crafting table for you, so I didn't have to mess around, going up and down. Um, yeah. So if you can't remember how I just made that energy tablet, I put. Um, redstone in all the corners, uh, gold all the way down the middle, and then um, enriched alloy at either side, uh, left and right of the like middle part. Yeah. So basically, the, the so the next part is um, the solar panel. Uh, you need three solar panels for the solar panel, which is weird. Uh, but yeah, you need to make a solar panel. Uh, to make a solar panel, you need three glass, two redstone, um, osminium, uh, three osminium, and enriched alloy. For those of you who just like, this is like your first episode you watched this, um, osminium is like the new platinum, um, just in case you're a bit confused about what it is. Uh, so you need three glass at the top, wow, I can't even see that hardly, uh, that's annoying. Uh, three glass at the top, three glass panels, I mean, at the top. Um, so, not glass, glass panels, sorry. Uh, three osminium at the bottom. Um, enriched alloy uh, in the middle. And then, redstone, redstone, makes your solar panel. This is, the solar panel isn't actually a block, so you can't actually place it. Um, you need three solar panels um, for the actual solar generator, not solar. Uh, and you need the energy tablet that you made earlier. So this is how you make um, a solar generator. Um, you need three solar panels, rich alloy, rich alloy, iron, osminium dust, which you can make in the enrichment chamber if you um, put osminium ore into it. Uh, and that's it. So I'll show you how to make a solar generator. Now this is how you make a solar generator. Um, osminium powder in both the bottom corners, iron in the middle, uh, the energy tablet at the bottom, middle, uh, then uh, at the side, well, in the middle side, left and right, in the middle, left and right, you need um, enriched alloy, and then at the top, you need three um, solar panels, which makes your solar generator. So you can actually use this to generate power. So if I place it down, it'll actually start making power. Well, it's not obviously at night. 
Uh, if it's obstructed, since it is a solar generator, it won't work. So it needs to be like at the top of the building uh, or outside in like daylight. But we need a lot of power. So this solar generator on its own isn't good enough. So um, I'm going to make an advanced solar generator. Uh, that's it, if you can see over there. Uh, you need three iron, four generators, which just made one off, and then two enriched alloy. So I'll show you how to make this now. So this is how you make an advanced generator. You need um, two... Um, uh, solar generators, I forgot the name, sorry. Uh, either side of the top part, then. Oh, you know, three iron at the bottom, sorry. Three iron at the bottom, um, two enriched alloy um, in the center part of the top and the middle. And then next to both of the enriched alloys, to the left and right of them, you need to put a solar generator. Make sure advanced solar generator. Uh, now, if I shift for details, um, it might. There might be a significant change. It doesn't seem to be. But I'm guessing that the advanced one is basically a lot better. If I oh, so yeah, you just place it down. Oh my god, it's huge. Um, it'll hook up like that. Uh, I'm guessing you can't stick another one right close to it. But if I stick this one down, um, this will also start collecting. Uh, energy. Um, for those of you who have, uh, have not noticed, which I'm guessing you all have, uh, I made a lots of gen um, battery boxes because I wasn't sure uh, how to store the energy, so I thought I'd just make a lot of easy battery boxes because they're easy to make. Hopefully, this will store the energy. Uh, and if it does store the energy, I'll show you it's set up. It's like a, a, a two by cube, two cube followed by a far row, um, so 12 altogether. Um, hopefully they'll fill up, and they're connected to my centrifuge all the way to the bottom. Well, so this is gonna be like my main power cable. I think copper cable, since it's the only real cable on here, won't lose power. I'm not sure, not too positive, uh, but yeah. Um, I'm going to wait until day to see uh, how this all setup works. I might make a few more uh, just so I have enough power um, to run everything. Uh, so yeah, I'll be right back in probably a bit, which a bit to you is probably going to be like five seconds, a bit to me is probably going to be like probably about three days um, before I make like another one of these. Uh, but yeah, um, in a bit. Hello Horde, I'm back. Um, it took me a while to set this up. Uh, I've got six now, uh, and I found out something which is quite interesting. Advanced solar panels are the equivalent of um, nine um, solar generators, so um, they actually are very efficient and worth making, uh, simply because um, they only use four. Um, solar generators, so by using them for you get more than um, double. Um, when I set this up, I realized, like I keep doing, um, I accidentally always put it the wrong way. Uh, obviously, your input is red, output is uh, black. And I've got all these because I want to store a lot of energy. Uh, I have like one of these now, it took, I've made loads, um, it took a while to make, it's like, it took a, like a day, well a few hours to get parts together <clears throat> but they're not that hard to make other um, battery boxes uh, but these solar generators as I noticed that, that uh, they aren't that hard either really um, you just need a bit of gold so that's the hardest part about them um, <clears throat> uh, but the only thing that I did notice was a few hours ago when I left these on and, and then hooked it up all the wire burn, it all set a fire. So these produce so much energy that if you don't have this set up in the right thing, like right configuration, it will basically explode. Um, 
Well, they'll not explode, but all the wires will burn. Um, so it's not ideal. So what I would suggest is um, put all your battery boxes where you want them, all your wires where you want them, then place um, your advanced solar panels, uh, advanced solar generators. Um, you need to leave uh, leave a gap of two um, because they are um, too wide. Um, well, actually, three wide, actually. Um, the, so, the three by three. So, if you think, uh, if you look at floor where I am, uh, one, two, uh, three, one, two, three, one, two, three. This is that. Um, but, yeah, that's it for this episode. Uh, they produce a bit of energy. Um, they produce quite a lot of energy, actually. Um, they're not the most hardest thing to make in the world. Uh, neither are battery boxes. Um, but yeah, um, I might add some more later if I have time. And if I find any more wires, I'll tell you because I'm not. There must be more since these wires burn. Uh, so there must be stronger wires. Um, I'm not sure if there's another like mod that they've added, um, but. If they are, I will make sure to make a video and update all this um, because it's not me. It's not fair me telling you um, like the worstest thing to make. If you get what I mean. Uh, so yeah. Um, so something did go wrong at one point. I'm not even sure what. Uh, I don't know if it's a new thing, but yeah, these wires did all set fire uh, because these were full. Uh, well, not full, but they got a lot of power from the sun. Oh, which I forgot to actually show you. Um, that means sun, obviously. When they go grey, it means they're not getting any power. When this bar filled a bit, um, in all these, the wire, when I plugged it in, the wire here burnt first, and then, because it must have overpower, um, must have overloaded, and then just burnt the rest of them. Um, so, yeah, uh, if I find a better solution, uh, like a better equivalent to wires in this mod pack, um, I'll let you know. But I, uh, when I type wires in into search, uh, when I am um, I'm gonna look um, it doesn't seem to pop up with any new wires um, so yeah that's it step uh, 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 that's it for this episode uh, um, hit like and favorite if you've enjoyed vaults um, hit subscribe and see more content from me uh, but yeah thanks for watching bye